Now let's move to, to the origins and the history of the Arabic. Arabic is the largest Semitic language akin to Hebrew, Aramaic and Amharic. It possesses a rich literary heritage dating back to the pre-Islamic era. The very first recorded Arabic text is found in Saudi Arabia in the 18th century BC. Arabic language today is the native language for over 280 million people in 25 different countries, as well as the liturgical language for over a billion Muslims throughout the world. 280 million native speakers, 250 million as second language, and in total over 530 million people speak this language. The Arabic and Quran. Arabic is the language of the Quran and although most of the world's 1.3 billion Muslims don't speak Arabic, they can recite verses from the Quran. The Quran is written in classical Arabic or the Arabic for religious writings. It's also written using calligraphy, an ornate style of writing. Types of the Arabic language The Arabic language can be divided into three categories. The classical Arabic, which is the language of Islam and Quran as we said, and it's only used for religious purposes. The second category, which is the modern standard Arabic, it's a contemporary version of the classical language that has been influenced by foreign languages, it's used in education systems and in the media in the Arabic world. And the third category is the Arabic dialect. Each country of the Arab world has its own unique dialect. People speaking two different dialects, for example, sometimes have difficulties in communicating with one another. Dialects of Arabic and where it is spoken. Arabic is spoken in the Arab world, which stretches from the North Africa all the way to the Persian Gulf. In general, Middle Easterns can understand each other, but have trouble understanding North Africans. However, modern standard Arabic unifies the whole area. The North Africans can understand the Middle Easterns uh, if they use modern standard Arabic. Middle Eastern Arabic, especially Egyptian, Syrian and Lebanese, has also become more widespread due to the film industry, music, TV programs, etc. Arabic dialects, uh, for example, in North Africa, Maghreb Arabic, spoken by Moroccans, Tunisian and Algerian by 60 million speakers. The Arabic dialects in the Middle East, for example, the Gulf Arabic is spoken in the Gulf states and in East and in Central Saudi Arabia. 34 million speakers speak their dialects in the Middle East, but also it's widely understood. The Iraqi Arabic is spoken by 29 million Iraqis. It's reasonably different from the other Arabic dialects. The Arabic influence in other languages. The Arabic is a major source of vocabulary for languages such as Urdu, Persian, Swahili, Hindu and others. The Arabic script is used in Persian and Urdu. Turkish used the Arabic script before it was changed in 1932, yet the language still has words borrowed from Arabic. Arabic influence the Iberian Peninsula.